Hi and um, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to set up a uh, Chrome tab so that your programs automatically start when you boot up your Raspberry Pi. So I came across this when I was building um, my Raspberry Pi R2D2 hack. So this is a £2.49 uh, R2D2 sweet dispenser and I uh, created an R2D2 um, which has got an LED and uh, some other features attached to it. The problem is if I want to run it I have to um, attach the HDMI cable to the uh, for the monitor and then I have to start it up. And obviously I just want to better plug this straight in and I want it to, to boot up and power up the uh, the program. So I'm going to use this Chrome tab feature I'm going to show you how to uh, how to set it up. The first thing you need to do then is to identify the uh, file location of whereabouts the uh, the Chrome tab stored. So in this one, it's stored in this R2D2 folder. I'm going to navigate to this. And in the program in this one, it's called Final R2D2. So what I need to remember is this file location, uh, and then I need to add this to the to the Chrome tab. So it's in R2D2 hack, and then the file name is final r2d2.py. Right, so to open up and trigger a Chrome tab, we need to go to sudo cron tab minus e. Okay, um, it sometimes gives you an option of how to set it up. Uh, choose option number two, which is uh, the nano editor, which is what we've got here. Okay, then what we need to do is say at reboot. So it basically tells the Pi uh, operating system when we reboot, uh, load Python. And I want to use Python 3. And then I need to tell it the location of that, uh, that file. So this is stored in home slash Pi slash R to D2 underscore hack slash and I think it was called final r2d2.py right so control and x to save this press yes enter one thing I like to do sometimes uh, to, to help me out is in my python program just add a 15 or 20 second delay at the beginning of the program before it starts to execute the script um, this gives you time then if there is a problem um, that you can quickly load up your, your cron tab, um, comment out the problem. So if it's causing you a problem, comment it out, save it, and 20 seconds is usually enough time to do that before the program kicks in. Uh, I have had it where you know I've, I've, I haven't been able to access the cron tab because the program starts straight away. So just a little tip there, add 10, 10 15 seconds, maybe longer, to the uh, beginning of the program so that you've got a bit of a delay. Okay, uh, next thing we're going to do then is we are going to boot to the um, command line. So I'm just going to go raspberry config. Because I don't need the program to, uh, or I don't need the Raspberry Pi, sorry, to boot to the desktop because all you're going to see is the R2D2. There's no HDMI cable, no screen attached, so we don't need a desktop, uh, desktop function. So we're going to click here. And we are going to console auto login. Excellent. So press finish. So now we're ready to reboot uh, the Raspberry Pi and uh, we'll see what this R2D2 does. Right, so R2D2 is all booted up now. Well, the, Ras uh, the Raspberry Pi has. Hopefully the uh, cron tab's kicked in as well. So I'll press the button. There we go. LED. And also, if I go to the uh, web page, you can see, hello, there is the webcam working. Excellent. Okay, thanks very much for watching.